All right, guys, before I give this Honda Accord back to its owner, we're going to do one more thing to it. We're going to clean out the idle air control valve. Um, in the last couple of videos, um, if you haven't seen them, uh, fixed some leaks, power steering leak, valve cover leak, VTOX solenoid leak, did a valve lash adjustment on it, and uh, we replaced all the motor mounts, and I figured, and do some spark plugs in it, and I figured, all right, there's only like one more thing left to do would be to clean up the idle air control valve and to clean up the throttle body and it should be good to go it's pretty much an entire uh you know tune up on one of these that you know that's at least 10 years old and has 100 and 100 plus thousand miles so we're gonna go ahead and do that today um here's your idle air control valve gasket and i actually don't have the throttle body gasket because amazon man is running late for some reason so um we're gonna pull it all apart and if i need to replace it i'll replace it later um, just for sake of the video, I only have time to do this today and only have daylight right now. So I'll we'll go and do that. All right, so it's pretty simple. The first things we're going to do is go ahead and just unplug some sensors. No problem. Okay. And then uh, we're going to use a Phillips and uh, loosen up the clamp for the air tube here. It's just clamped on here. We just pull that loose. Uh, you got some more hoses back there. We're just going to kind of disconnect back here. And uh, the throttle uh, bracket right here, we're gonna have to disconnect too. That's gonna be some 10 millimeters. I'm gonna recover this, remove this cover. It's gonna be 10 millimeters also. And you know, this bracket holds your throttle cable and your cruise control cable. Uh, after that, you got the little hose here, just gonna disconnect that. And then we can go ahead and pull off the throttle body. It's just held on with some 12 millimeters here, so four of those. Now it's not gonna come up all the way because it has two coolant lines going into it. I'm gonna try to leave those there. I'm gonna try to work on this thing right here. I'm gonna turn it over and work on it. Um, if it lets me, a lot of times the screws that hold the idle air control valve, they like to strip out. Um, we'll see how that goes once we get there, okay? And to clean it, I'm going to use some mass airflow sensor uh, cleaner just to clean the throttle body and the idle air control valve. I'm not going to use carb cleaner because carb cleaner is a little more aggressive than this stuff. This stuff's a little bit safer <laughs> and it'll do the job, okay? All right. And that's just going to give me some more room for you to be able to see these tins that you got right here. So, sensor, sensor, sensor. Probably want to disconnect this guy here too. There's a little clip right here that you're going to end up pressing just to get the cable off of you a little bit. These guys here, not terribly difficult to disconnect. Just pull them loose. There is a little clamp down here that holds this guy on, but really you don't need to mess with it. You should be able to just pull it all apart. Okay. All right. So you might be asking yourself why I'm doing this. I'm just doing this as a maintenance thing. Uh, just trying to get to idle a little bit smoother. You might be doing because you need to replace your idle air control valve because you might have some surging. You might have a code for it. Whatever the case may be. But I actually don't have a problem other than it just idling a little bit rough. And I want this tune up to be absolutely perfect when I'm giving this thing back to my customer. All right. So there we go. Now all we're going to do is we need to disconnect this guy here, which Honda makes things nice and simple, which is just hold on with this little clip and then we can twist this guy off like so. Go ahead and disconnect this 10 millimeter right here so it loosens up the cables for me. All right. I'm going to disconnect this little holder that we have here. All I got to do is push these little tabs in it has. Okay everything nice and loose now we can go after these 10 millimeters here which is the throttle cable one's a bracket but one is actually the throttle cable bracket here and we just want to be careful not to drop them down in the throttle body this all loose okay got that disconnected from there got this all loose here all right and then we're gonna hit up these 12s right here there is a connector back here on the idle air control valve uh, you can disconnect it now or you can do it later it doesn't really matter I'll go ahead and do it now it just comes off there's a little tab on it that you get to press a little locking tab but it is in there like this so Okay, you got two bolts and then two nuts, okay? All right, so last little bolt. Now we should be able to free this guy up. Okay, and we're gonna turn it over. You now these coolant lines are really gonna fight you a little bit. All right. Do 
these are the these are the Phillips screws we're gonna try to undo without stripping them right here okay my gasket doesn't look too bad all right so the key to these Phillips is using the correct Phillips screwdriver of course the guy across the street's gonna start vacuuming right now <laughs> you're gonna want to use a big one okay don't use a little bitty one like I have here you're gonna use one one of the big big on it okay use one that's too small you're definitely running the risk of stripping these guys out make sure you get one that fits in nicely and just twist okay so that one came off no problem that one came off no problem again most people where i see have problems is they're using a screwdriver that's just way too small i can just pull right off now right, come right off a little bit of cooling will come out there but there's the old gasket here you can see there's a little bit of crud in there it's a little bit black we're just going to get some rid of some of that not too bad actually we'll end up spraying a little bit in here too also i'm just wiping out this throttle body and i'm just trying to be really gentle with this thing and uh i'm not trying to blast it with any super carb cleaner or anything i just want to get some of the junk out of it if there's anything in it it's actually not too bad so we're going to fill it up in here and see what comes out of it Get a little rag, I'm gonna get a little rag and just run it up there. But I'll probably let it sit like this for a minute. Four or five minutes, and then come back and blast it back out again. Just gonna be nice and gentle with this guy. Get it where I need it. Try not to mess up that gasket too much. too crazy it's really not that dirty I don't expect amazing results out of this or anything but it doesn't hurt but yeah, it's a little dirty in there all right back to this guy it's been kind of sitting a little bit get some junk out of there a couple more sprays start wiping her down I get a little toothbrush stick it in there kind of try to scrub as much as I can of that out of there all right, so when you go to clean this thing, you can actually open up the little valve that's down in here, and you're going to want to clean this out of there. You can use a little Allen wrench, okay? That's what a lot of videos don't show you how to do, is uh, actually add how to clean up the little part that actually moves in this guy. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up very well, but get yourself a little baby Allen wrench. Stick it in. Stick it in here. You can get this thing to move around. Let's see, hopefully I can get it to show you, but if you're going to want to open it up like that, then go ahead and spray some of your cleaner in there, okay? That's gonna go the little extra step as far as getting this thing clean, okay? But hopefully you can see that. I hope. There's some chunks coming out of it, oh yeah. Keep that guy open. Spray some of these chunks out of here. Yeah, there's definitely some crap in it. So you're probably thinking that you should just go ahead and try to take it apart. But Honda purposely makes these uh, tamper-proof um, stars or torques um, of the size that you don't actually own if you go try to hook it up. I mean, you probably get something in there, but it's actually not a standard size. They actually make them oversized. And they're really hard to take apart because you don't want to take them apart anyway. But if you look... That's actually what came out of it, is this black junk right here. Right, that's, actually, that's about as clean as I'm going to get it, but yeah, some some deposits in there, definitely. Let's go put it back together. Alright, so new gasket. Slap it on here. Make sure we put it on the right way and everything. And then we'll put our clean idle air control valve in. And which way does it go again? <laughs> it goes this way. Just snug her down, not too tight, just in case you gotta go back in here one day when she has 300,000 miles. And we'll just put her back on. Uh, yeah, if you have a new gasket, use the new gasket, but if you don't like me, well, just keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> It'll be okay. Slide her on there. Okay, and we'll just re reinstall everything in the order we took it off. Let's make sure that those throttle cables are still hooked up. And then we'll start her up and See how she idles. All right, gotta let her warm up for a little while and then see how she idles. All 
All right, well, uh, the Accord's Island Nights are smooth now. Uh, this video was helpful. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Uh, yeah, you guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.